Hello, hello everybody. Uh, coming on to do the uh, the 666, the medal. <laughs> the medal response for Dr. Deadwax, which uh, I don't have a lot of medal, uh, believe it or not. Uh, it, it, I like it, it's just not something that <clears throat> I gravitate to. You know, so it's like when I'm looking for music, I have other things that I go to before I go to that, so. I only have a, a, a few that I pulled out the show. I'm sure I have something else. I mean, I, I know I have a bunch of Kiss. My wife likes it, and I I guess that's metal. I, I, I don't know. I don't care for them. So. <laughs> but uh, uh, just just pulled out a few. Uh, first one, what you guys are hearing in the background. This is a Japanese band, band uh, Sabbath. Uh, the album's called uh, The Melody of Desk Death. Death Mass, Melody of Death Mass. Uh, the reason I ended up getting this one is because, for whatever reason, when I first started collecting records, I had this urge to want to get the longest songs on vinyl. I don't know why. It, it, I just did. So I ended up getting a couple records that I just didn't know what the hell they were because they were long ass songs that were covered over several discs of, of record and this is literally the song's called The Dwelling it's like a, it's like an hour and three minutes or an hour and two minutes something like that and it covers the entire album except the last ten minutes which they do like a live single cut version of it uh, on the B, on the D side so this is a, a Japanese band did I say that? yes Japanese band and look, look, at, look at the picture of these guys <laughs> Hilarious! Uh, it's really like multiple songs kind of all stuck together and they, they follow each other. I mean, but as you can hear, definitely some killer playing. Lots of soloing on this, very heavy, and probably of the traditional metal vibe, I guess, or vein. I, I, I happen to enjoy it. I don't play it very much, but killer, killer find, I guess. Uh, just showed this one, Black Sabbath, Paranoid, I mean, duh. <laughs> Nothing need be said. Uh, I just showed this one too, and it's sort of that non-traditional uh, metal. It, it's very doomy and, and uh, gloomy and very uh, stoner feeling. Uh, the the Mosca, Mosca Violenta, the, the album Mosca Violenta, the band, I, I don't know how you're gonna pronounce this. Uh, Leu, Le, Leo, 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 de la tete, tete, hot? I don't know, French, beyond me, beyond me, totally beyond me, but. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled this one uh, because I happened to see it and to be honest, I've never listened to it. Uh, this is something my wife got, and I just, I've never listened to it, but I, I guess it's metal, right? They have that song, Bang Your Head or something, I think. I don't even, I don't even know it's not on it. Quiet Riot. <laughs> metal. <laughs> oh, so cheesy, so cheesy. Uh, this is definitely the unconventional metal feeling the uh, ayahuasca dark trip oh I've talked about this record many many times this is this this is of that that free spiritual music you know caliber but at the same time it, it's very dark and heavy and doomy feeling so definitely definitely some of the the unconventional metal going on really love this album and last one I got to show is sort of like a duh moment because, uh, you know, Dope Smoker by Sleep. Look at, look at this. Oh, I love that artwork. This goes along the same lines as the, the Sabbath that we're listening to right now where I wanted the longest songs I could get and this is like like an hour and five minutes or four minutes, something like that. And it's, it's that quintessential doom Donor sludge metal where it's pretty much just one chord <laughs> the entire song with some deep heavy vocals and some killer soloing. It's like 
seven solos on this album. <laughs> Spread throughout the three discs, uh, or the two discs rather, the three sides that make up the, uh, the song. Uh, I love this album. I don't listen to it very much, but I absolutely love it. Dope Smoker by Sleep. I know they did a reissue off of, uh, what was it, Southern Lord? Recently that a lot of people got, but it was like, I wasn't going to spend the money if I already had it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe 30 years down the road, I'll, I'll, I'll get the old one, I'll find it cheap somewhere, I don't know, the new one rather, whatever. Uh, Mark, there's some metal for you. I hope you uh, dig in what you're hearing in the background. And uh, thank you again for a, uh, uh, another contest. <laughs> you're golden, Mark. You're golden. To everybody else, till next time.